Okay, nice work getting started on CSS. The next exercise is list styling. Okay, so this is going to look a little familiar because we worked on this specific um, code in HTML. And what we did was we styled the background color for the uh, header, the uh, unordered list, and the ordered list. But do you guys remember how we had to go into every single tag and add style equals background color? green or style equals background color chartreuse or whatever the color was so we had to do this for every single tag individually now the power with css is that it cuts down on all of that coding we can write one rule that targets all of the tags at once you don't have to repeat yourself over and over okay so we're given some starter code and the background is set to light blue h1 tags have a background color of long green and ul tags have a background color of sienna our job is to add the following following styles to the specific specified tags. So we want H2 tags to be light yellow. The background color is going to be orchid for the ordered lists and the LI tags are going to have a font size of 20 pixels. And as a little hint here, we want to use the font size property. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Right now, this is what we are starting with, and we're going to write all of our code up here in the style sheet. Remember, this is called an embedded style sheet. It's embedded because it's actually inside of the HTML page. Later, we're going to learn about external style sheets, but for now, just know that this is called embedded, and all of the rules are inside of this embedded sheet. Okay, let's go back to the exercise tab so we can see what it is that we're changing okay because it is quite a bit all right so we are going to add the background color of light yellow excuse those sirens in the background guys i live downtown so you hear a lot of urban noise okay so h2 tags okay so here's the h2 rule again this is saying grab all of my h2 tags which um down here we have a couple all right and we are saying to change the background color to light yellow okay so we're just going to type it exactly how we see it and every property value pair always ends with a semicolon you can think of these semicolons as periods and this is useful if you have multiple properties you want to separate them and this semicolon tells the browser when a property value pair has ended okay so always end with a semicolon then the background color for the ordered lists is going to be orchid and the li tags are going to have a font size of 20 pixels so font size 20 px okay so just think back to uh what we did in the last um exercise we worked on this we had to go into each tag individually and add in the style equal style equal so rather than having to do that twice for example for each of these h2 tags we just did it once up here and it grabbed both of our h2 tags over here and turned them light yellow so we didn't have to repeat this over and over now you may think okay well there's only two h2 tags here so did it really save that much time in this example we're looking at a relatively small web page now imagine you had a web page with 10 15 20 h2 tags it would be really time consuming to go in and style each tag one by one so what's nice again about css is it speeds up the styling process you write one rule and it applies to all of the tags so you don't have to repeat yourself all right, so this is the final result for our list styling exercise. Nice job, guys.